He knows about Lisa. I didn't know what to do. We have to clean this up before Felix and Warren get back. Or someone tells the police Mitchell's missing. I'm sorry. Let's just get this over with. Ready? You had the dead body of my cousin. She's been gone all this time. And you killed her. You killed us! I told you, he never meant to hurt her. You knew. You helped him cover it up. You helped us believe that she left. <laughs> this isn't happening. This is not happening! You need to calm down. How can someone of the same DNA as me be a murderer? She said quiet. So shut up. Toby, Mitchell looks far too uncomfortable. This doesn't need to get any uglier than it already is. Why don't you loosen the ties a little? I mean, what did she do? What did I do? I promise, it was a mistake. Hey, okay, we buried her last night. So she has peace now. She was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Just like you are. Today, that is it, okay? We were so close to finally putting this nastiness behind us, and here we are, right in the middle of another one of your messes. I'm sorry. I don't want to be this person anymore, Toby. I want normality. I want the life we've always wanted for ourselves. So do I! But it's Mitchell! He just keeps on getting in the way! After today, it will no longer be an issue. Come on. You have to stew long enough. Martin, I'll get rid of her. Have you seen Rich? Don't come with me, don't come with me! I told you she was sick. You're not getting away with this. We both know you're not going to hurt me. Put down the shovel. Then you can kill me and I don't tell everyone that you're a murderer. I'm not a murderer. Lisa was an accident. How do you kill your own cousin by accident, Toby? Because it was supposed to be you. The only reason that you're alive right now is because Celeste has a plan that means that we can all move on. So you need to do exactly what we tell you to do. And why would I do that? Because if you don't, you're going to end up taking the fall for Lisa's death. What are you talking about? You think we loosen your ties too much by accident? <laughs> you went right ahead and put all of your fingerprints on that shovel. Just like we wanted. What do you want from me? We want you to leave the village, Mitchell. 
forever. No one's going to believe I killed my own cousin, even with those prints. Tell him. They will believe it, Mitchell. Your long secret affair with Scott proved you have a knack for deceiving people. That was totally different. We are more than capable of making it stick. Who do you think got you arrested for attacking Felix? Huh? Who do you think planted the picture of you and Scott in the perfect position for Walter to find it? That was you. <laughs> Why? Because you get everything. You're the one that they kept. You had the life that we were deprived of. You! You will never understand what I've been through. I'm sorry. I am, I am truly sorry. But if you try and blame me, for what you both did to Lisa. I swear I will tell the truth. I will, Toby, and people won't believe you. They will, Mitchell, because I'm not going to prison. I grew up in a cell, and I'm not going to spend the rest of my life in one because of you. The whole time you were growing up, I never left that room. Can you even wrap that around your precious, spoiled little head? When you met up with the family for Christmas, when you went to meet your friends, when you got picked up from school, when you got treated, hugged, grounded, I never left that room! If Toby's given the chance to be part of a normal family, clear of the trauma of his past, then this angry, rageful side of him will go away. He needs love and stability. And now that you know what he's done, he can't have that with you here. <laughs> We're triplets. Wow. You said you wanted a loving family. How was that loving family? And now you're just gonna throw me away? You weren't meant to find the body. This is the only way! Enough talking! Celeste. Listen to me. Listen, I know. I know you love your brother, and I know you want to do right by him. <laughs> your brother too, man. I still love you. <laughs> I've got a life here, and I've got a family and a job, and I just got married. <sighs> I don't want to lose everything. <laughs> Spare us the sob story. Enough! I need some air. Don't follow me. Toby's messed up so many times since we've moved here. And quite frankly, I'm tired of sorting it out. But I know where he's come from. And I know the person he could be if he finally gets his act together. I'm not abandoning him now. Ah, oh, what? We've given you your options. Unless you want to spend a very, very long time in prison. You leave the country today.